Americans. But this team is, I'll tell you what, when do you go to a game and see six plays, all touchdowns? This team, and against the College Park team, which was in the playoffs last yep. year, uh, North Coast section plays, I believe they beat Amador. Beat Amador Valley. Beat Amador Valley. So this is a good team. And I'll tell you what, in the air, on the ground, Cal High rips uh, College Park. Okay, we go there. There's Grizz the Grizzly bouncing around. He's got a new car. Yeah, they must be doing that good over there. Kyle Alvarez, watch this, 32-yard run. Zips around the left side into the end zone. Seven zip. You'll see more of Kyle later on. All right, watch the highlight reel. We're talking about Drew Reel to John Sarmenta. Perfect class. What a great throw and catch. 14 zip. Okay, let's go to Rio to Sarmenta again down the right side. Just a little hitch. Going 22 yards, 21 zip. Let's go to Matt Deans. 33 yards on, the, on this play for another TD. Wow, they are just cooking. 28 to 3. And Jarrell done on this next play. 35 yarder. He's 118 yards and gone. Just leave him in the dust. He had a big night. At this point, it's 35 to 3. I want you to watch this run by Kyle Alvarez. He should have been stopped six times here. Keeps on running, keeps moving his leg. Look at this guy. <laughs> yeah, 60 yards rushing as Cal wins 45 to 3. Yeah, 45. Count them. Look at the numbers. They're real. And, and what accuracy, what good throws. Alvarez. Uh, all those guys done just doing the job uh, second week in a row they put up big mm -hmm. numbers uh, so this is this is a team and uh, I tell you what uh, you're going to score a lot of points with this team and, and yep. so you got to keep the camera on them all the time because they are great offensively I'm telling you and, and wow. they gained uh, pretty close to 500 yards in this game offensively balanced again over 200 yards passing and uh, 260 yards rushing, I believe. Uh, just a great game. Great, and got, of course, a great yeah. job by uh, Coach Kravitz coming over doing the uh, offensive coaching. Yeah, and, and and our videographer over there, uh, Karen Alvarez, uh, she had a good night because yeah. she got all these touchdowns. I'm telling you, they were great. Yeah, this game and, was over in the first quarter. It was 28-3 oh, yeah. to three after one. Yeah, and, and I know, and, and you don't have to have many touches. Uh, you know, Dunn had only a few touches and 118 mm -hmm. yards, you know, mm -hmm. so, and real is the real deal. I mean, he, yeah. he put uh, two of those passes right on the money, the fade, uh, both to Sarmenta, and yep. uh, he, he's a good one. He, he's got a nice touch, and uh, he's going to be big, B-I-G, uh, for the Grizzlies. And the defense was also strong. They forced uh, four turnovers, yeah. six fumbles in the game, so uh, all in all, a great night for the Grizz. Yeah, right there, baby, there you go. I, I, I think this year they're, they're just... They're just better players now and uh, more emphasis on offensive football, uh, better formations, tougher on the defense, and more speed. Uh, I've never seen uh, so many good quarterbacks uh, at high school level that are accurate and uh, also a, a great running back. So mm -hmm. it, it seems that each team has a good receiver, good quarterback, mm -hmm. and a good runner. Uh, I mean, so yeah. almost every team is capable of scoring yeah. over 30 points. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you look at the board each week. Now, of course, that will change in league as they're scouted more and the defenses can set to the particular offenses. But uh, you're talking about a team uh, league, the EBAL, and, and the leagues around here that has one ingredient that they haven't had in the past, and that is speed.